Hi, welcome to Groovy's first ever video blog cast where we discuss all things marketing in the entertainment space. Uh, last week we wrote a fascinating blog post on a really controversial film called It Follows. If you haven't had the chance to see it yet, it's uh, directed by uh, David Robert Mitchell. It uh, received great views at the, uh, at the director's fortnight in Cannes. It's a very quirky horror movie. Um, designated under art house horror. Uh, it's not your typical slash and gore horror fest. And what was very interesting about this campaign was that this movie appealed uh, particularly to people over the age of 30. Those numbers are reflected in the box office, but also what we saw within our advertising. This film project was probably the most controversial thing that we ever uh, became involved with, simply because the initial targeting that we ran uh, on the movie was wrong. Um, we had the impression that this would be a film for a younger audience. We were quite late into the project, I think we only got going about five days beforehand. We recommended to the, uh, to the Angel Films distributor here in Denmark that they focus on Facebook as it's the best place for engaging an audience uh, and starting a conversation uh, around an interesting title like this. And we went out with the remit of targeting people between the age of 16 and 24. We also um, took typical horror targeting uh, by trying to compare the film to other horror movies that were out there and the typical posts that we uh, presented were, you know, if you've watched The Ring, uh, this is something that you should check out too. So up went our budget, uh, up went our initial advertisements within Facebook and back came a huge deluge of negative responses. Uh, people were complaining, demanding their life back, uh, their money back and also uh, uh, saying that the film wasn't particularly interesting and it was too slow and it was nothing like The Ring. So that took us completely by surprise and w when we were sitting down with Angel Films and their, their page administrator for Facebook, um, we were basically talking about uh, the fact that we needed to widen out the targeting and actually go and find that audience. And the beauty about Facebook is you can see results in real time. If you're ever tracking a Facebook campaign, uh, the best way to measure if you've hit the right audience is when your cost per click or cost per impression start to massively decrease uh, and your engagement rates on the posts that you're promoting uh, increase. So um, we widened out the target groups, focused on a broader range of demographics, broader range of interests and what we found was that most of the audience that were responding well to the advertisements that we were putting out were over the age of 30 and men. So we changed the creative that we were using, um, we updated the images and updated the messaging, we dropped any comparison to other film titles and talked more about the film itself. And the films play on sex, which is the interesting counterweight to your typical horror movie. You know, in a horror movie when people have sex, it's generally a run up to them being killed. In this film, you have to have sex to live. So, um, what we found was that uh, cost per impression, engagement and uh, interaction and clicks all dropped by about 75% when we moved into this, uh, this uh, older demographic. That uh, none of the, we basically uh, had nobody complaining there on, from uh, within the comments within the Facebook uh, ads that we were promoting and that uh, we were seeing the discourse between people declining. People weren't arguing back and forth. It just went down to, I love this film, or I'd really like to go and see this film, or perhaps we should go and see this film, Sia or Rasmus, um, typical Danish names. So uh, anyway, um, what did we learn? Well, the first thing was uh, know thy audience. Uh, we went in with the wrong assumptions for this film. Uh, we very quickly learned that, corrected it, and broadened out the targeting that we were doing on the advertising, which allowed us to discover who the real audience was for this film. We then adjusted our messaging and all the creative that we were using for that audience based on the response data that we were seeing. And so we maybe started out with 30 ads at the beginning of the campaign when we were doing the testing. We probably ended up with maybe two or three ads by the time we came down to actually running uh, the final part of the campaign where we saw these good numbers. Uh, all these numbers are broken down within the blog post that, uh, that we wrote about this, so you can take an in-depth view of that. 
Um, and that basically was one of the key takeaways. The second thing was, if you have a movie and it is contentious and it is creating a debate within the comment sections of your blog or Facebook page or within Twitter itself, use it. Uh, within this particular instance, um, unfortunately Angel Films didn't have the resources to manage all the conversations that were going on and because we were running to get the film uh, launched at the same time, um, some, if we were to run this again, we would probably put more effort into the page administration. Uh, it was a wonderful opportunity to jump into these dialogues and drop YouTube videos into the comment sections and therefore update everyone who is arguing viciously back and forth about whether they hate or love this movie, that actually, from a critique's point of view, uh, this was a great film and it's interesting, it's a new genre and it deserves a uh, chance. So, uh, we're putting up the hashtag, uh, give art ha house horror a chance from now on, uh, as we've seen that films like The Witch and Babadoc uh, have both suffered from that kind of quirky, creepy horror that they do, uh, not being appreciated by younger audiences uh, who have a, a low attention threshold uh, for this kind of genre, it seems, and that those movies are much better targeted when it's an, eight, uh, an older group. Thank you very much for watching.